So last attempt then for Son, uh, 120 kilos, just to open mm-hmm. up a, a two kilo lead over um, the Kazakh lifter. Two kilos under her personal record. That's a much better attempt. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, no problem there. Gets up with it easily. So it looks like we're now going to see the strongest yeah. female weightlifter in the world coming out now. For Hopefully. three attempts back to back with Lee Wen Wen. We still haven't caught a glimpse of her. They've announced her, so looks yeah. like she's coming out. I wonder what she's going to come out. Yeah, to. I agree with you, Bricky. It's it's a shame that they don't show the body weights <clears throat> like they used to. Oh, such in the a past shame. When when body weight was a factor in the uh, the deciding the competition in the past, we always used to see it on the scoreboards, but mm-hmm. they uh, they don't show it as much anymore. Okay, I think she's coming out. Oh, okay, she's coming out relatively heavy, one thirty-five. Uh, that's not uncommon for her to start. I say so light, but so light, you know, compared to her best. Uh, and still hit world records. She makes big jumps, particularly when she has to follow herself and needs the fitness to do so. So we could see her take big jumps if she makes this all the way up to 48. There's an easy opener. I, I like the way you said, if she makes this. Yeah, <laughs> there was no <laughs> doubt. That was just way too easy. Oh, my word. Yeah, um, the skating reptile. Uh, yeah, you're right. They, when the official results books come out, they do usually have the... Uh, the weigh-in weights in there. It's just unfortunate that we don't get that information um, mm-hmm. while the competition's actually going on. Um, funny story, I won't tell the whole one again, but there was that moment where the Chinese team asked me if I could offer a lift to Xi and Li, and I assumed that was Xi Ziyong and Li Dayin. I said yes, and I was in my small rental car, and uh, I went off with she and then i saw lee when when waiting and i had to turn and say i'm really sorry i can't actually fit her in this car um it's too small and there are too many people already and so we had to leave her and the chinese coach had to circle back uh, and pick her up before they drove off to the team hotel i hope that she doesn't remember that takes a fair size car for a super heavyweight doesn't it Mm -hmm. just below High 140s. So it's big, but it's not the heaviest female super of all time, but it's certainly up there. Heaviest female super was the American, um, whose name I'm blanking, she went to the 2008 Olympics. There we go. Wow, 143. Okay, she's going to go 48. She's going to take a world record attempt. She's going to make it. That was just far too easy for a second attempt. You don't even get people like... uh, You don't even get Shi Ziyong making his second attempts on the way to a world record look as as simple as that. Yeah, Okay, so the... uh, Yeah, the the commenter with the name that we can't pronounce has got it right there. Yeah. 8WH8JHA99JH9. I hope that's not his password. Or her password. But. <laughs> okay, we've got a world record uh, on the board at 148. Okay, here she comes. 148 kilos. A new world record. We've seen heavier in uh, previous super heavyweight weight categories. Obviously, Kasharina did 155, but this is a new era of weightlifting. Testing protocols have changed. Things are, things are slightly different. Hold it, hold it. Ah, there we go. Wow. So, so easy. Yeah. And she's, a, she's just soaking it in. That yeah. was a sensational lift. It, it looks to me like we're going to see a lot more from her. Yeah. It's just going to be a question of how many competitions it takes to increase that comp- that record at one kilo a time because yeah. I assume she'll do the, the standard Chinese approach of just extending the records mm-hmm. by a kilo each competition. Yeah. So She'll do a kilo here, and then she'll probably do a kilo yeah. in the total. Yeah, and then something similar again in Tokyo. Yeah. 
And wow. uh, there's no doubt that Team China is going to send her. I mean, there's just there's absolutely no one. I think she has the easiest win, probably on paper, actually. Uh, in terms of how far ahead from everyone else she is. Yeah. I said that about someone else during this competition. I think it was Kuo Sung Chun, because now that the North Korean has left, she's got a very mm -hmm. easy run at 59. But I actually think that Lee Wen Wen is the furthest ahead. Lee Wen Wen could snatch 150. I don't think anyone else at the Olympics will snatch over. No. I think maybe Laurel Hubbard might do 132, something like that. But no one's going to be within 15 kilos yeah. of Li Wen Wen. So there, I think there's going to be three <coughs> or four lifters who all have potential to take a medal. And it's going to be about maybe who puts six lifts in while other people miss. Yeah. Okay, here's 161. This is one kilo under her personal record from way back in 2015. She is 28 years of age. This for a 281 total. Great clean. Oh, oh can't hold on overhead. The speed that bar comes off the shoulders is just immense. So that's a fourth or sixth day for Sun Young Hee. She's certainly going to take the silver in the total. Uh, 120, yep. 159. That's silver medals across the board for her. So now we have three attempts for the world record holder, the strongest female weightlifter in the world. She's opening heavy, 175. I mean, to be 11 kilos under the world record. Not easy. You normally see slightly bigger jumps, so I think she's clearly looking for a big performance today. Just turned 21 years of age, pulls it so high. Easy stand, rarely gets the bounce, so that's normal. Jerk's not a problem. Maybe ever so slightly off to the left, or to her right, naturally. But that's, that's easy, that guarantees her the win. Yeah. I mean, we Looks. just saw someone jump, what, 16 kilos over the last lift? and just make it look like a twig. Yeah. Whew, four for four. According to this, she's going for the record on this lift. Yeah, makes sense. Jumping straight to it. Yeah, I mean, it's only a, what is it, 12 kilo jump? Yeah, 12 kilo jump, which is right around 6% of the lift. It's like jumping from 95 to 101%. Okay, here we go. This is it. This is for the second. Well, this is for the. This will be the second and third world record of the session for Li Wen Wen in clean and jerk and total. And she'll have a temp remaining if she wants it. I don't think she'll use it for another clean and jerk no. that's heavier, but she might use it to retake this if there's a silly mistake. We've seen the likes of Hussein Rezaz today do just that. Here we go. Oh, it was much better clean. Catches the bounce. Here we go. 187. It's oh, in. my word. There is nobody who can compete with this woman. She is so strong. She just stared the whole crowd down. Mean mugged the judges. No one dares give her anything but white lights. I would love to see her take a third attempt. She yeah, won't. I... She won't. She looks too happy. She's running off. You know, she's she's... She's not got the concentration now. But... She might break her coach there. She's not careful. <laughs> yeah. Wow. What an... Well, I mean, that's just an exquisite performance. Five for five. 148, 187. Three new world records. Snatch, clean and jerk total. There is no denying it. She is the best weightlifter on the women's side in that category. She's going to have the easiest win in Tokyo of any weightlifter. She's the biggest outlier in the world right now.